Right now, the Penn State community is still uh, deeply divided. Uh, uh, we have the Board of Trustees and their position, and then we have everybody else. You know, we want to right the wrong that was committed that night uh, when Joe Paterno was, uh, uh, was terminated. Well, we need the new people on the Board of Trustees. Uh, the people that are there now, have, have really, they really haven't demonstrated the leadership uh, uh, that was needed during very, a, a very trying and troubling time. Uh, I base leadership not on just doing things when things are great. Like I base leadership on doing things when things are tough, when you're, when you're greatly challenged and, and when things don't look good and things are against you. And then who really stands up and, 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 and really do the right thing, even though there's a lot of pressure to, to not do it. And that leadership failed us and so uh, we do not want that leadership to represent the great institution of Penn State anymore. I talked to Mike McQuarrie and what he told Joe Paterno, there's no way that that Joe should have called the police that night. He had no information or not enough information to call the police and he did the right thing in telling his superior. And, and then his superior were meeting with Mike McQuarrie the guy who actually saw it five days later. And so why does Joe even have to be involved in that? Because he didn't see it. He was just told and now they're dealing directly with the guy who saw it. So, so that was all misleading. You know, that was all to redirect the focus.